you're still following me. It's been a year and you're here. Today, just giving an update um, with you guys. I recently have celebrated my three-year anniversary since my official detransition on February 27th, 2018. I went through my first surgery, which was having my implants removed in my chest, reconstructed, um, which was a day of freedom and a day that I typically celebrate. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. So that, that milestone has passed my three year mark. I'm still very happy, very, very happy. I have no second guessing or anything like that after three years and I'm doing pretty good, feeling pretty good. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, today's topic that I want to hit on is how gender identity and sexual identity, you know what I'm saying? How sexual preference and gender identity are two totally different things and how they can influence each other and they can kind of go together. Sometimes you might want to put them two together. Um, I know for anyone dealing with this, because some people like it's going to be some straight folks out there and some people that's or whatever, um, clueless and like, oh, God, and won't understand. But the people who this message is for, you will clearly get it. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, it's like, OK, so from a young age, I always knew I was different. I felt different. Um I was told that I act feminine and more feminine, talk like a girl, act like a girl, have feminine interest and stuff like that at a very early age before I knew anything about gay, trans or anything. This was kind of, you know, how it was because there was something different about me, which I recognize and I understand that and I embrace that. You know what I mean? So um, that with all that being said, so these things were there. I love music, Mariah Carey. Monica, all these people that I was so into from a young, young age. I always picked the girl characters on, you know, Chung Lee on Street Fighters and Molina on Mortal Kombat. And I was just drawn to women and stuff like that more. Um, which then goes hand in hand because at that point in time, you know, you don't, you, you're not having sex at five, six years old and stuff like that. So you don't know. So, you know what I'm saying? So you really don't know. So, now to make it to make it to bring it up as as you go and you progress in age and you get older and you start feeling these um traits and different things, then we kind of put them like people will call you gay and stuff like that before you really actually are so once you start being called that and you start living in that truth, you know it just starts and it starts happening. So because I did feel feminine and I did feel like I was trans, you know, the first step I did was start doing, you know, certain things. But all the while when I wanted to be trans and just look like a girl and live like a girl, I never really was that attracted. And see, here's the thing, because I'm attracted to men. Um, and I think that I'm attracted to men physically more than women but I don't want to have sex per se. Isn't that weird? It's so hard to even just break down and explain to somebody. I have a, my best friend and um, cousin who I tried to, my best friend slash cousin who I tried to explain this to. And, um, you know, it's like I did all of these things and did all of, all of this stuff without really confirming my sexuality, even changing gender. I just assume the position of the gender that I wanted to be and what was expected of me. But like, um, I find anal sex and stuff like that kind of disgusting to me. It's never been my thing. Um, and I've had, um, experiences with both with a male, female, you know what I'm saying? And, um, I definitely feel as though I've had better experiences, sexual experiences and relationships with women because I am kind of turned off by certain things involving men and sex together. Um, you know, some people are going to be offended by me saying this. You know, I'm in my late 30s and I 
have never had an STD, never had anything. Um, God has really blessed me and kept his hand over me because even with some of the risky things that I've done and um, stuff like that. But um, you're not, you, you understand what I'm saying? It's just like anal sex is not something that I really am into, especially... You know, I don't want to get too deep. I don't know if I could get if I'm getting too deep for my followers and stuff like that. Um, I've just never been into it. Like it's certain things that I can get down with when it comes to being with a guy. And then there are certain things that I can't. And I don't like to get too personal and I want to keep this, you know, for everybody to be able to enjoy. And maybe if you know, leave your comments and let me know. So I don't even know at this point, like I I, I lived that life, I transitioned over I'm this way. I'm happy. Um, wasn't really focusing on dating too much. Like I did test my attraction and test like my manhood and see, you know, if I still have it. But sex, number one, sex isn't important to me. It's not the biggest thing in the world. You know what I mean? And I don't know. I don't know exactly what I am. What do you guys think that that makes me and... How would you label me? A detransitioned male who been through all these things, who could be, I'm, I'm attracted to both. I would definitely say I, I like the attraction and thought of a male, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I, and, and that normally comes to me first, but when it comes down to it, I can't be, I can't be like in a serious relationship or whatever, because it can't go too far. Like I've never really been in a serious committed sexual relationship with either, you know, because I can't, I can't commit to a guy sexually. And I just feel like it's different and it would be different. Um, it would be a little bit pressure being in a strict relationship with a woman, even though I've done it before, but just not exclusively and for a long period of time you know so those are the things that cross my mind once again also too i'm the type of person where i could be happy by my damn self i could really be happy by myself for the rest of my life you know what i mean my family first and foremost god um is so good to me and you know my relationship with god my relationship with myself my relationship with my mother my nephews and nieces, my siblings, um, is so deep that, you know, my life is a fault. And I've done the, you know, chasing all the cut-ups and different things. I've done that for so long, you know, that it is like, so I, I don't know where do I stand. I just wanted to ask you guys, like from the information, and if you have any questions, write your questions down. If you have any questions that you would want to, no, and I just want to know, like, what do you guys feel? Like, y'all see all my videos. Y'all see the vibe. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Like, um, what do you think? And how do I how do I navigate through that even when I do want to start a healthy relationship or something? Um, how, how, did, how do you think that work? And how do you think that's going to work for me? Because I also, too, I battle with it. It's like... I, I may have gender dysphoria or no, not so much gender dysphoria or sexual confusion or something like that, you know, because I battle with everything. I battle with the feminine and masculine, like even still, I still want to represent myself. There's some thoughts and some things that I want to do or whatever that I don't do because how I want to um, be and how I want the world to see me and how I want to represent myself. So it's a lot of things that I battle with mentally um, on a day to day basis. You know, it, it, it's it's crazy. It's crazy, and um, having this openness is so different. And I know that some people either they don't care or they don't focus on it or they don't let it ruin their life. Because I think that's a lot more people who are gay and different things like that, but they just don't let it control them. Like, you know, the DL men, the trade, as we call them, you know, they do the same stuff that everybody else do, but they just don't claim that title and it doesn't run their life. You know what I mean? So um, 
I'm still searching. I'm still figuring stuff out or whatever. I just wanted to know what was your opinion and what did you, what do you guys, what do my followers and the people who believe in me? Because y'all, y'all make my day. Y'all comments, y'all likes, y'all views is so appreciated. And, and it's, it's therapeutic. It's therapeutic to not have a person or two people that you can talk to, but when you can kind of talk to the world, it's just an amazing feeling. And some of your comments, man, y'all really, 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 really touch me. 